Miami-Dade Police Department Director Freddie Ramirez remains at a Tampa hospital tonight, and we're getting an update on how he's doing. For the first time, we're hearing from a sheriff who was at the same law enforcement conference as Ramirez just before he shot himself. Let's get right out to CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor, who is reporting live from Tampa and has the latest on the director's condition. Yvonne? And the latest indeed, Lauren and Elliot. Well, Miami-Dade director is also awake and talking. That's also the latest. And this is per PBA president, Stedman Stahl, who met Freddie Ramirez's family. Now, as Tampa police is saying, everything started here at this hotel, which is located in the city's downtown, and where sheriffs from all over the state of Florida have gathered for a conference. We talked about the many aspects of the incident to one of them, Osceola County, Marcos Lopez. Why and where they choose the location that they do, it might just be that they met their breaking point. Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez wonders about what led Miami-Dade Director Freddy Ramirez to pull off the road on I-75 South and apparently shoot himself in the head. Yeah, it's sad because you know, he's a fellow law enforcement officer. Sheriff Lopez was attending the law enforcement conference on Sunday night when Director Ramirez was asked to leave the hotel because of an altercation with his wife. We asked him what the sheriffs were told about what happened. They just basically let us know there was an incident here. They didn't give us a lot of information because the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating it. It was involving uh, Mr. Ramirez, and that's pretty much all they gave us. Today, Tampa General Hospital is not saying much about Ramirez's condition, while in Miami-Dade, prayers for his recovery continue. I think all of our hearts are broken in Miami-Dade County, and I asked yesterday, as, as soon as I heard, for everybody to pray and pray hard for our director and his family. While the conference continues in Tampa, this sheriff says law enforcement agencies need to address the problem of mental health and officers need to ask for help. Look for help. There's no shame in them having to take your gun. Sometimes it's not to that point where it's your breaking point yet. And if you know if you need help and you're having these type of suicidal thoughts, you know, you really want to get some help. Now, the NAACP is inviting to a prayer hotline for Director Freddy Ramirez tomorrow, Wednesday, July 26 at noon. You see the number listed on this flyer. It's a half an hour event. Now, back out live, we just contact again Tampa General Hospital to find out about the health of Director Ramirez. They said that for any inquiries, contact FDLE, which is the agency that is in charge of the investigation of the incident. Live in Tampa, I'm Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami. Okay, Ivan, thank you for that. I want to remind everybody that if you or anyone you know are having thoughts about self-harm, help is available 24 hours a day, every day. Call or text the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 988. You'll immediately be connected to a trained crisis counselor. Again, the number is 988.